Hello, do you want to create fancy websites as a part of hobby and you're studying in a school? Or do you want to kickstart your career as a web developer in one of the IT organizations across the globe? Or are you actually working as a web developer but want to understand the concepts of web development technologies in detail? Yes, you are at the right place. Hi all, this is Priyanka from A2IT in India. I really believe it's very important to know who your trader is before you dive deep into understanding what we will be covering in the course. As mentioned before, my name is Priyanka Sharma and I have around 13 years of experience in software development, software testing, project management and teaching. I have taught to many students across the globe and teaching has been always a passion. Coming to the module what we are going to cover, we will be looking in this module a quick introduction of what we will be covering. Dear students, if you really have that passion of creating websites or doing any kind of web development, HTML is the first step of that big ladder that we have to combine together. In the HTML course that we are going to cover, I can promise that we are not only covering HTML. We will be looking at HTML and in addition to that, we will also look at the HTML5, which is the latest technology of HTML plus an added advantage of this course is that we will also look at dynamic HTML. Yes, the HTML. So it's all three goodies in one bag. Let me dive deeper and actually explain you very quickly what all will be the topics that we will be covering. So in this module, we will start from the very beginning level of HTML. We'll cover all the basic tags which helps you to create paragraphs, headings, do a lot of text formatting, do a lot of inline text, creating tabular information for your web pages, lists, concepts of images, concepts of forms lot of things. Trust me, whatever I'm going to give you in this outline and what we will be covering, the covering part is a sub super set of what I'm going to give you in the outline. We will be going through concepts of absolute and relative referencing also in this module. We'll see how we can grab the information from the end user, put it in the form of forms and submit it onto the server using the get and post methods. In addition to this, we will then move on to the features, benefits and new tags which HTML5 has blessed us with all. We will also look at a wonderful project to see how we can create a web page and take my word for it, the web page we will create will, is very close to the new latest websites created these days. We will also look at dynamic HTML in this code and we'll try to understand how DHTML is useful in web development. Without further delay, I have a question for you. Are you ready? If yes, log in and enroll in this wonderful course of web development with me Priyanka at A2IT India. Stay tuned. I am really, really hoping to see you again. Take care. Goodbye.